Okay. So this is episode two. Um, still no name. I don't think there's going to be a name for a while. I'm, I've always been terrible at naming projects, so I don't really see that happening now. It'll just be where we, you know, we weekly talk about whatever we're kind of, we we're thinking about and going on. Um, first thing I want to say is this episode, or I guess this channel is sponsored by shock visors. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we have shock visors on all of our helmets. We love their visors. And if you want to pick one up for yourself for the upcoming year, use our coupon code. It'll be in the link in the description down below. So check them out. Uh, today's video, we're talking all about Adidas. So we had a lot of feedback about last episode about Nike and a lot of people agreed with us about, you know, the good old days and what's happened. And, um, one thing that we talked about in that episode briefly was what's happening with Adidas. So we figured we'd take today's episode to basically do the same thing with Adidas and then give our opinions on it and then kind of go through the 2023 catalog, what you can already get, what's coming out for this year and basically what do we, what we think about where they're going. Um, so the first thing I want to do is start off by checking out their 2023 catalogs. So that way everyone can see what they think we will be available from Adidas for this year. Um, all right, let's open this up here. Share screen. Okay. So here we have the 2023 catalog. Now, some of the stuff we already know what we can expect. Uh, so Devin, what do you have your hands on right now? So I have the, so they're re-rolling the Adi Zero 12.0s. Um, they've already come out in a whole bunch of colorways. Um, this is the combine pair, which is super similar to the mismatch pair, which I also have right here. Um, I, have my, I have a whole bunch of stuff out right now. But so they're re-rolling the Adi Zero 12s and then the Adi Zero 12 Prime Knits as well, which are these. This is the uh, field of, or flash of greatness pair. And then what else they got? There's the the nasties. You want to talk about the nasties? Yeah. Um, so I guess the pairs that we've we've looked at a little bit so far, um, what you can expect for 2023. Uh, number one will be these ones here. So these are going to be the uh, Ada Zero Prime Knit pair. Uh, you have a pair right there, right? That's the Prime Knit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the Prime Knit too. Yeah, so those are the Prime Knit. Those Damn. are the we have the. Flash of is it flash of greatness or field of I greatness? I think it's flash of greatness because they reflect like when you put the flash on them. That makes sense. Yeah. I've been calling them the field of greatness. I know I, I get them mixed up in my head all the time. But yeah, flash, okay. flash, flash, flash. So we have the at a zero. Now those are considered a twelve, right? Yeah, yeah. These are the twelve. So there's no new thirteen this year. Um this is the same cleat that was out last year. Okay, so at a zero twelve, but now they have the prime knit version. Um no new traction plate. Is there anything usually with the prime knit stuff? Sometimes they'll do like boost. Is there any boost in those ones? I don't think so. No, I think it's just your regular insole. I think they just put the boost in the, the, the high tier freak stuff. I think this is the same insole as the uh, regular Addy Zero. But yeah, no yeah, boost. It's different. Nothing new, yeah. Okay. Not bad. Uh, okay, the other one, let's see, we have the next thing we have is going to be the Nasty 2.0. Um, these ones, we actually, they do have available on their website right now. These are a redesign from, I think two years ago. Uh, let's see if I can get these things framed up nice. So I have the, similar, um, what size are these babies? These are massive. So I have a 16 here, by the way. These are ease. Yeah. These were from the All-American game, I think, two years ago. I think yeah, um, that sounds familiar. Yeah, because yeah, it has the it has the iridescence and then the iridescence matched those are the uh the gloves from that as well. Yeah. Yep. Um right there. So the nasty they took a year off. This I'm actually quite excited about these because Adidas hasn't really had a lineman cleat in a long time. Um you know, like technically this nasty is their lineman cleat, but it's more just like a low, like a mid cut yeah. cleat, same traction plate as a lot of their other stuff. Uh, not something I've been really super pumped about, to be honest. It's just another mid cut cleat. It's still nice. Uh, I like the material on it, yeah. but um, it looks like these are a full redesign. Yeah, they have a zipper down nice. the middle, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they have this, it's hard to tell in this. Well, we'll, we'll see later on the website. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they do have a zipper here. So I'm assuming that uh, you tie up all your laces, they go all the way up and then they have a zipper with kind of this like sheath here, kind of the same idea as what Under Armour did, except Under Armour's sheath was pretty whack. Yeah. Remember the, oh, that plat the, the cover pellet protector thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was, that was not good. 
Um, as a lineman, they took a lot of. As a lineman, does is it like beneficial to cover up your laces? Do you feel like you get your foot stepped on a lot in the trenches or no? I've only ever had one pair of cleats rip, and it was the old Under Armour's. Like, if you think of like a classic black with like screw in studs, yeah, like Under Armour cleat, it was it was those. Um, and they have like, they used to have like a velvety kind of felt material on the toe box. Mm -hmm. Um, and it wasn't like a felt like velvet, like a style thing. It was just like a cheaper material. Gotcha. Um, and I got stepped on and they tore the first day. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, right through the toe box. And so, I mean, I always spatted my cleats. Yeah. Um, I, I used, um, what were they called? They were like a spat cover. They were like a, a compression material that would go over top of your cleats, like like you spatted them. Like I think laces. they just call those like I know what you're talking about. Like spat is a tape job, but I think they call those like cover spats as well. I could be wrong. But... Yeah, like every company sells yeah. them now. Like they were kind of a big deal back in like 2014, yeah. <laughs> but um, now it's like you can find battle ones and all sorts of patterns and colors and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, so these are gonna be the nasties for this year. Same traction plate as they have here literally identical um i actually wasn't a big fan of some of the studs on these i found you can see how these ones on the photo are a little bit longer here yeah. um these ones on this side on the inside of the, the foot though or no that's the outside of the foot wait these ones here are the short ones so maybe hopefully they're longer because these ones i found were very short yeah along this side so that's the freak play um, right that's the same one you see on the freak yeah. freaks um Let's just confirm. Yeah. It might be a little bit wider. I know Nike does that with no. some of their cleats. Like their four savage line has a wider alpha plate, basically. Super similar. Right. So the freaks freaks are different. So here's the freak plate. Can they see you in the sheen sc sh uh, screen share? Yeah, I think whoever's talking. Okay. I don't know. We're still working yeah, on whatever. it. <laughs> um so yeah, this is the freak plate, and obviously it has the teeth along the side. Yeah. Uh the studs on the freak plate are actually longer than on the nasty. Okay. Um, and you can also see there's a lot more of them on here. Uh, on this one, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the freak, sorry, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, so I guess it just doesn't have this one middle. Gotcha. Um, but even on the freak plate, they're more uh, triangular, whereas the nasty plate, they're more circular. Um, so I prefer this one a lot Yeah. Um, over this one. Um, but we'll see how those are. Again, I'm still trying to get my hands on those for this year. Now, as far as colorways, the, the one thing I do like about what Adidas is doing is although in the catalog, they're showing black and white. I'm pretty sure we already know there's going to be a lot more colorways from them. With yeah, that. we'll see on this side. Um, yeah, yeah, and like they're the only ones that do that. Like, Well, actually, Nike has some. When they first came out with the Four Savages and the Elites, they had green, black, yellow red all sorts of stuff now good luck finding anything other than like black and white on eBay. Yeah. Uh, but you know that's the way it goes anyways those are actually pretty cool they're different i'm actually quite excited to test those out um these are going to be what are these ones oh so these are let's see these are the nasty 2.0 i think it's and then are i think this, these are just the the team versions for like schools because this catalog you know gets sent to like the adidas schools to like pick out their gear so i, I think okay, it's the so same these thing. are the these are the two E. Yeah, I don't know. So the two E is basically this, except it's a wider version oh, okay. um, for bigger that feet. That makes sense. Yeah, and you can see it's also available in more sizes. Yeah. So the ones I actually have here are the two E version of the one up at the top. Gotcha. Um, it's a wider plate, just a little bit, and the size, as you can see, it, it goes up way Was higher. Was it the twenty? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, you know, because just with the lineman, I have people hit me up all the time, like. Where do I find size 17? And they're in like high school. That's unreal. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. What do we got? Uh, okay. Next two, we have the add a zero. These are going to be the 12 again, which you already have. Yeah. I want to hide this sidebar. Yeah. We talked about the add a zero 12. I think it was an X. Yeah. Really? We talked about the add a zero 12 a little bit earlier. It's the same cleat as last year. Um, there's nothing different. Just a couple new colorways. Um, that we'll talk about a little bit later, but same cleat, nothing new this year, which is weird because usually, you know, Adidas is one of the few companies that's really dropping a new silhouette every single year. Um, but this year, I mean, they took a year off. I don't know why, but it's still a pretty good cleat. Um, they updated the traction plate last year. I can't find my pair. Oh, it's right here. 
they updated the traction plate last year for these, and it's definitely a lot better than their previous traction plate. It's got some nice sharp triangle studs um, that work pretty good. So it's a good cleat, but I would like to see them, you know, keep releasing new ones, but nothing new this year. What else we got? Yeah. These ones are new, and these are yeah. going to be the Freak 23. Yes, sir. I have three okay. pairs of these right now. Yeah. Okay, so how do you, I don't know if, do you have a pair of the Freak 22s at all? Did you have these? Um, I, I think I have a white and gold pair somewhere. I don't have them with me right now. I think, I think I've okay. got them though. So these are the 22s and they clearly went in a completely different yeah, direction. Totally different. Um, the new Freak 23s look similar to the Freak 22. No, the Freak 21 Ultras. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I like I actually gave those to I had a pair and I gave them to a friend and I kind of regret yeah. it because like they're probably my favorite cleats I've ever really? worn. Um I I love them. Like when I first put them on, like they felt so good. I liked I like a mid high cleat now with a knit. Okay. Yeah. Like I love with like like a mid cleat that has like a nice tight knit on your ankle. Like I I love that yeah. now. Um especially in like it's I've never tried the knits on like the the elites or anything, um, but I, yeah, just what Adidas is is driving with those I love. So I'm actually super excited to these for these as well. Same traction plate, yeah, um, but yeah, same freak as the ones I already have. So no, that won't be different. Um, but again, the cool thing with Adidas is always what colors are they going to yeah, come dude, out they, with? They do such a good job. They always come out with cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit later about um, all the different like colorways and packs that they've dropped over the last couple of years. But um, I mean, already yeah. these just came out, and we have the Flash of Greatness pair. We have the Black Mismatch pair. I only brought up one; the other one is obviously mismatched. And then I think yeah, then I have the Combine Mismatch pair as well. So already three different colorways, and they just came out, which is crazy. Yeah, uh, we do have the Scorch and the Spark. Those are their youth products as well i think um I, I think or just their their lower tier i don't really see them that the scorch often, to be is honest. available for men's i would like to get my hands on a pair just because they're they're probably a good budget option um yeah but yeah i've always looked at them as like youth cleats but they 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 are adult football cleats and i just didn't really realize it um but it, yeah, it's like it's yeah. like a budget at a zero it doesn't have the same traction play it's a little bit different um yeah yeah um, the spark is youth i think maybe not if anybody now, what else? We, if anybody watching this knows, let us know. <laughs> uh, we got the spark, whatever. Yeah, there are other ones. Again, these we know are definitely youth because of the rubber molded plate that they have on these. Always a dead giveaway for some of that yeah. stuff. Um, as far as shoes go, Adidas is one of the, or if probably one of the only people that has uh, football as a s athlete has a signature shoe. Yeah, I can't think of any at the moment. I know Cam Newton used that one with Under Armour, but yeah, yeah, I can't think of any. Uh, so these, I don't know a ton about, I know they, and on certain stuff, branding, they, sometimes they have it as Patrick Mahomes. Sometimes they have it as PM. Yeah. Um, impact. you know, it's kind of different on here. They only have it called the impact flex two. I generally, when I'm talking about them, I call them the PM two Cause it's just yeah. standard with like, you know, like basketball shoes and stuff, you know, just second version. So these are the Patrick Mahomes yeah. shoe. Um, they have already dropped a couple more colorways that we talked about like a couple of weeks ago. Like I know they dropped the sky blue and then they dropped like a yellow pair recently yeah. as well. I have don't know a ton about them. I have some, summer. don't have any, I, I haven't worn them yet, but they're the, the black Panther pair. I totally forgot. I got them. Oh yeah. yeah. They're somewhere. Should probably find them. Okay. Let's see. We have. Adidas visor. Yeah. Uh, That's just a generic comment. shape visor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So bag of sport. Let's see. Let's get back to gloves. So the prime net, let's see prime net upper. Just like a diagram. Color again, we'll talk about, yeah, more of this in the video. Free 23. Uh, okay, let's see. I just want to see this quick wide ankle opening, four-way stretch zipper. Yeah, so it's a shroud yeah. uh, for ultimate compression, internal webbed, razor frame speed wide plate. That's what plate. it's called, the razor frame plate. That's like the old freak plate, the razor frame. That's what it was called. I could okay. not remember. There's P P two, uh, how they, everything for position. This is cool. Now how they break that down for the for the schools. Yeah, I've never actually seen. Yeah, this it's before. pretty cool. It's like if you weigh this much and you wear you play this position, you should wear this cleat. They kind of 
suggest, you know, what you should wear based off of your position and weight. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. And then what does this mean? What is the graph grass versus turf? So I I think they're they're both Field selected. Type. So I think Adidas is basically saying like these cleats are good for grass and turf. Um for yeah. everything. So they're not gonna be like, yeah, our cleat's not good for this. Let's see, where are the uh, okay, well, yeah. Gloves is going to be 170. I know you closed the sidebar, but it's at 170. Yeah. Oh, no. Football. 170. 170. Where? 170. The, oh. Did we miss him? Oh, there it yep. is. All right. So these are the new football gloves. So they didn't come out with a new football cleat, a new Eddie Zero football cleat, but they did come out with some new gloves. I do have a pair. Um, we've talked about them a little bit on the channel already, but this is the newest receiver glove on the market. There's nothing new from Nike. I don't know. If, I don't think Under Armour's dropped any new gloves. I might be forgetting something, but these are definitely new. You know, these are not the 12.0s. These are 13.0, and you guys can kind of see all the different colorways they've got. They kind of reworked it a little bit. Um, it's the same back of hand material. You do get a index finger wrap, which I don't think we've ever seen on a glove, along with a pinky wrap. So that's just going to add more uh, catching surface. And then there's this kind of new unique strap that they added. It's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of like the, what are they, like those remove for flight, like tags. I know they came on like Paul George's mm -hmm. NASA basketball shoes. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, they fit really good. They're comfortable. That back of hand mesh, like I said, it's the same as last year. It feels really good on the back of your hand. And then you have grip tack palms, which are pretty sticky. So good glove. We have to drop a full review on them once we get um, some retail pairs. Need more pairs. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, they don't have, let's see, team colors, uh, Freak 6.0. So these will be a new yeah. Version of the pad. Yeah, these also, I do want to say the Addy Zero 13.0s, these are not available yet anywhere. I'm not really sure what the story is with the gloves, but they're not available on their website or Dick's Sporting Goods or anything. And then same deal with the Freak 6.0s. I have yet to see these in person, but they look really cool. Um, if we go to their Instagram later, which we might, um, some of the guys in the All American game had these and they look pretty good on hand as well. Um, but yeah, newest padded receiver glove from Adidas. Looks pretty solid. By the way, a little side note. Um, apparently there's a bunch of kids in Ontario, in Canada, wearing DTAC I know, sevens. I saw your the comment they thread were... with that kid from Canada. Shout yeah. out to you if you're watching this. And he was like, oh yeah, they're giving them out with the team. And I was like, I can't find anything. I know, I, right after I saw that really? comment, I hit Google, I hit, I was trying to find them, but no luck. Yeah, Um. so he even tried sending me photos and like he was like, oh, this guy in the back is wearing them, they're in all black. I was like, oh, yeah. like I can't that really do a lot with see. that. Like, I can't really see. Um, okay, so here's going to be the Freaks. Again, it's not the best called image, but is yeah. what it is. So they've, it's a full redesign because you can see there's like a full pad all the way from like here all the way that runs down. These pads run all the way down. Uh, the cuff is also completely changed. Here's the older version. They went with this like lower cuff where it wraps yeah. around. That's gone. Um, so they redesigned that. They used to have a back of hand pad. I don't know if it's a part of this logo. It doesn't look like it is. So... so they had a big pad on the back of hand where the Adidas logo was in before. That looks like that's mm -hmm. gone. Um, so it actually looks like less padding. It looks a lot um, like the super bad is my first thought. Just the in the design, yeah. the, the the placing of the padding and just how it looks like. Like yeah. that old freak that you just showed was more of like a, it was like a bigger, more padded. Like I feel like linemen could get away yeah. with wearing it. But this is more geared to like big skill, skill guys, I feel like. Yeah, and they might have felt that like maybe their glove was positioned weird where it's like very heavy back of hand padding, but then also the grip on the inside and maybe they just weren't durable for linemen. So it's like receivers weren't wearing them or running backs because they were too padded or too stiff, but then linemen weren't, you know, because they were not enough. So then they maybe just geared it down a little bit to maybe try and make it a little more position specific. Yeah, that sounds probable. Um, what else is there? Let's see. Freak Max. Yep, so that's the same, right? That's not new. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, those won't. Uh, I don't see those changing for a yeah, bit. Yeah, Lyman just getting no love out here. 
Uh, and then just some of the side. I think that's going to do it. I mean, there's a little bit on the soldier yeah. sports stuff, which is kind of cool because that's like a different company, but now they work closely with Adidas. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, we'll, okay. Yeah. They've been doing some that's stuff true. together. Athletes. Yeah. I think that'll do it for the catalog. I think that's pretty much everything. So this is all the other stuff for this year, 2023. So a lot of the cleats and stuff are out already, but the gloves we have yet to see at the market. So keep yeah. on the lookout. I'm sure they'll drop eventually, right? Yeah. So obviously everything should drop. Some of it is available. Um, so here, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to move this over. I just want to make this guy a little bigger. Um, so right now Adidas does have some of the stuff available. And again, I'll, usually whenever we're posting, people always ask where stuff available. Um, the two places you can always look, obviously is going to be the team or the manufacturer website. So Adidas.com. Yeah. Um, sometimes the other best one is going to be Dick Sporting Goods right now. Um, even sometimes they'll do website exclusives. So you kind of have to bounce back and forth. Some stuff will, you know, will rest in peace East Bay. Um, but like they would do, you know, a, a colorway that only be available on Dick's versus East Bay. Like I think East Bay, what they did, the turbo yeah, pack, turbo fuel. Um, yeah. that was, a that was, a yeah, an exclusive. Whereas last year, I think the, some of the Memoji stuff was only on Dick's last year, right? Maybe like a black version. Maybe. I don't yeah, remember. I don't remember. Because I think we got those from East Bay, so maybe not. I have them yeah. somewhere, except one of them's cut open because we we cut open a bunch of cleats. Yeah, we tried doing the cleat cutting thing, and I kind of thought it would do really yeah. well, and turns out it just didn't do well, and people were it was mad. Fun, so though. I enjoyed yeah, it. To be it honest, fun. I enjoyed looking inside. Um, so so far from Adidas right now, we don't have a ton. Um, the thing with the catalogs people need to remember is that those are more team yep. focused. So the colorways are going to be classic team colorways, red, yellow, blue, green, white, black, whatever. And then gold and black are always, you know, part of Adidas. Um, but as far as on their website right now, they do actually have a, like Devin said, a bunch of stuff already yeah. launching. So we have the mismatch colorway. We have already some of your team colorways. Um, they have this one that we just found out about the yeah, poison. Yeah, really cool. Uh, kind of the same idea. I feel like as the turbo yeah. uh, fuel pack, but just switched it up a little bit. Some of the colors are even more bold, like yeah. this pink. And then they have like uh, the poison is the pattern yeah, it's on like it here. It's like a poison dart frog. I think that's the, the yeah. inspiration. The green and the pink are so cool. Right. The blue one too. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're going to be cool. People are going to like these. And then you got like a matte bottom. Yeah. Nice. Did you know that your mismatch paired had a glow in the dark strip it's glow in the dark yeah check this photo i thought that just meant it was reflective i didn't know it was glow in the dark where All right, yeah, okay, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like like yeah greatness. i didn't know that i thought that was only a field of greatness yeah. thing it's really subtle but you i mean you can kind of see it i mean you can't see it now but it's there when i yeah. turned off the lights i think that's when i found out for the field of or flash of greatness that's when i found out the other ones reflected too did we post no we haven't posted the boxing yet <laughs> I don't know when this goes live. So uh, let's see. There's a couple of kids that actually weren't even in there. So um, number one, so here's, again, they already have a couple more colorways of the nasties. Ooh, nice. um, they have the white, blue. The red is Good also nice. The black is always clean. Let's see, which one will show Ooh, the zipper the best? That white's nice too, though. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see it has like a zipper and then the laces will yeah. be hidden. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Inside that. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. Let's see. Um, the ones I always gravitate towards, and it's mostly because of coaching, um, would be the laceless mm -hmm. cleats. Um, they do have a couple in here. So they have the Freak Ultra 23. Yeah. We don't have um, these yet. I personally loved the Freak Ultras that we got last year, the higher cuff ones. I found them so cool. I have a pair here. I had the Swarovski ones. Yeah, these, those are yeah, wild. These are uh, these look similar but a little different yeah it's a little bit different for sure it looks like let me look and I, I think what they it looks like what they did is the same principle but it looks like they wrapped the upper a little higher because on those ones was a more knit material and there was like a lot of movement yeah. in the foot on the plate so it looks like they kept maybe the laceless idea did they get or maybe is there laces in here uh, I don't think so I can't imagine they'd try it for a year and then go away from it but but, Let's see. Is, yeah. Can you read? Is there even like, if yeah, that looks like they just kind of added a little more support. There's no information about it. Sometimes sites will like write a little brief about the cleat, but I don't see it. Yeah, let's check. Let's check the bottom here. Deep description. 
Stock like 58 band believable, a boost midsole, carefully placed stud, made with series of stickle materials, slip on gear. Yeah, so no laces. So they are lace I'm glad they have boost though, because they went away from boost in the uh the right like this version. This just has the um Adidas bounce, I think is what's in it. But I'm glad they're still giving the, yeah. the boost to their higher up models. That's nice. It really cool. does make them so comfortable. Uh, there was two here I thought I saw. Freak Ultra, and then was there another laceless pair? Oh, the, these are the Ultra Inline. Is this just like a different colorway of the same I'm thing? Yeah. Sure, yeah. I'm pretty yeah, sure it looks it's like the same. it. The cleats, they look, Those I mean, are they sick. look great. I, I do like um, the whole laceless. It's really sleek. I think it's a very similar cleat to the one we just talked about, except they kind of changed the design on the upper, but it's pretty similar. And then they moved the Adidas stripes yeah. to like the top of the collar, which is unique. Usually you see companies put their logo on the side or like near the toe i don't know if we've yeah. ever seen a company put it like in the sock liner that's pretty cool like as the main logo yes yeah. yeah so i guess we could talk about that a, a bit next so i guess how do you compare it right now to nike so when it comes as far when as it comes to nike yeah. versus adidas i think they both do things well but just they're they do different things well. So so Adidas is more for the people. You know, they dropped so many different collabs, so many different colorways, and Nike is more geared towards their athletes and then whatever the public gets, the public gets. Um, and they do right. a lot of really cool, like, customization stuff with their athletes. So they take a retail product that anybody can buy and then they customize it for their athletes. So it's like, you know, the stuff we give our athletes is the same stuff that we give the public. So, you know... It's, it's cool. And, and Nike, you know, Nike builds all these crazy PEs, all these crazy colorways, all this really cool stuff for their athletes that the public doesn't get, which is kind of lame, in my opinion. Yeah, it's like, it's two different strategies where you get like your, your hype for the brand from Nike comes from like seeing the on-field stuff, yeah. it feels like. Whereas your hype for Adidas comes from their yeah. website, because you're like, yo, check there's so this much out. stuff on there. Um, yeah, and, and it's so weird, yeah, because you don't see the cool stuff from Adidas. You don't see their mm. guys wearing, whereas the cool stuff from Nike yeah, you can't it's like, wear. It's, it's very right? weird because it's yeah, like you, you you you'll never see the you know the Juju or you know or maybe Juju, but not like Patrick Mahomes and like the poison yeah. hair or something. And even the stuff Patrick wears is like very low. This is, I mean, it's basically, you know, he very wears low the freaks. Colorways. It's basically the same stuff. It's just in Chiefs colorways. It's the same stuff you buy at the store in Chiefs yep. colorways. I mean, he might have like a special insole or like a specially sized cleat, you know, because sometimes they do that, you know, for their athletes. But it's it's the same model that you can buy at the store. If you, for example, you look at Jamar Chase, he has a cleat that's like totally redesigned. It's a combination of a bunch of different cleats. And you, the consumer, the public, cannot buy that cleat in any way. It's 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 a, just a different yeah. different way of going about it. Yeah. Yeah, really the only guy that you know Adidas has where they kind of give special treatment to um, would be Juju. Um, there might be some other guys now. I, I know there's, I don't know if any of the other Adidas guys get their own customization. Like say, for example, if you're an Adidas guy and you go to, um, any of the cleat customizers, I know there's arts undefined. He did a Bape colorway for someone. And I don't remember if that guy's signed with Adidas or he that was, uh, that, that was done. Brandon Ayuk. Um, that was Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. So I don't know if Brandon Ayuk is with Adidas or he just likes them and then got those made I in that colorway. I think he's with Adidas. And I think... Yeah, I think I don't think Arts Undefined is associated with Adidas at all, but I think Ayuk no. is with Adidas. But they allow their athletes to get right. customization software. Nike, you know, they don't really like that stuff as much. Yeah. Um, so I guess we could talk yeah, a, a little bit about Juju and what he does. He's really again one of the only ones where he gets kind of, you know, special treatment yeah. on some of this stuff. Um if you guys didn't know, there is a guy named Charlie. And Charlie works for Adidas, and he is like their in-house yep. cleat designer. Um, his title is color materials designer for Adidas. And he basically does all of Juju's cleats as like a passion project off the books. I don't think it's – might not be during work hours. Maybe I think sometimes it's his it own is. thing. Um, yeah, just yeah. does it himself because they have yeah, a relationship. Super cool. um, yeah, but like his, his Instagram page is honestly a really yeah. cool follow. If it he also does stuff here. for the Mahomes family. I don't know if you saw – Oh, that that baby blue uh, trainers. Those are for like I think they're for Mahomes' yeah. uh, kid. Yeah, so yeah. just really cool. So I guess because yeah, they took 
you know, Mahomes, like his new, the, the baby blue colorway that they did for yeah. his daughter. And then he actually turned like a boost version. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, family time so shoes. Cool. And then uh, just continue to talk about Juju. Yeah. You, I mean, you see these cleats he wore for the Super Bowl? I think he's got a video there. Those are really cool. Was it, the ones with the flowers? Yeah, like they pay respect to his, um, his background. I forget what he is, like where he's from. So when I see flowers like this, making Super Bowl cleats start by purple cleats, cutters, paint markers, use three of these to stick to flowers. When I see flowers like this, yeah, I think that's Hawaiian. what I was thinking too. I, he's I don't the, know about you. I want to. I want to find out. It felt very Polynesian. Yeah that's, yeah, that's the word I want to me. But I didn't think he was Polynesian. Yeah, where is he from? So hometown. He's from Long Beach, California. Hmm. Okay. Um. And let's see. He's done a lot of other cool stuff. Like you can see, he's done some other prime knit versions. Um, anything with the Adidas custom stuff that I know we've seen in the past is most yeah. likely him. The Black Panther pack that he did was yeah. so cool. I'm still mad that we never got our hands yeah, on I, any of these, or maybe like yeah, I, most of I them. only got the the Mahomes shoes. That's all I've got from that. Yeah, it was also I know we're kind of off the yeah, topic, of but this. Juju Smith Schuster is in fact Samoan, so that explains the flowers. Yep, really. All right, I didn't know that. Um, let's see what else. These were Kadar- Kadarius Tony's yeah, cleats then, as well yeah. for uh, MVS the Super Bowl. as well. Yeah. So let's see who does. They have that. The one thing I do like about Adidas is like every like throughout the year they're constantly dropping stuff. The pot pepper was a little bit of a miss in yeah. my opinion because it's it kind like, of random. It's kind of a weird part of the year, they just, you know. They, well, they were cool, but then it just, they didn't really have the supply to actually meet any of the demand that they yeah. were creating for them. Like, I know they were supposed to actually have matching gloves and really? they just didn't show up. Um, so there's like, they're still struggling with a lot of supply chain stuff, again, which is part of our issue because when they can barely get enough pairs to sell to the public, it's hard for them to yeah. send pairs to us. Um, but, you know, I, we can we can talk about that all day long about our struggles <laughs> with that stuff, but, you know, we're not, we're not here to get yeah. into that. Um, so I actually really enjoyed the hot yeah. pepper pack. I thought they That's were cool. really cool for sure. And I really like what they do with all the yeah. bold colors. Um, one thing I'm actually going to do, Devin, in my video that I'm working on right now to basically redesign football mm-hmm. cleats with AI, I'm going to try taking some of the current Nike cleats. Like, so I want to take the Vapor Edge Pro 2s and I want to make them into bold oh, colors. Oh, that'd be cool. Because it just yeah, they just do that, and I just want to see what it would look like if you took if you took a Nike silhouette and then went at it with an Adidas yeah. mentality. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be cool if they right. did some more brighter yeah. colors. You know? but, yeah, they just don't. It's you know two different styles. Um, but yeah, Charlie is the guy when it comes to anything Adidas as far as yeah. good stuff. He's a really cool follow. Anything behind the scenes, the Monsters Inc. Actually, that's I thought we're one of my favorites. I still, um, I, yeah, I still have those. I should have brought those up here. Those are some of the best yeah. cuts ever. They're so cool. Oh, he did some yeah. work for Adam Thielen as well. I forget Adam Thielen's with Adidas. So okay, so who's on their roster? So we have yeah. Patrick Mahomes, yeah. Juju, uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, I didn't yeah, know about. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence is he. He gets kind of the same cleats as Mahomes, but in Jags colors. Um, Garrett Wilson. For the Jets, he you know signed with them right yep. before the draft. Um, DK Metcalf has been like kind of with Adidas. He was with Under Armour, and then we'll talk about Under Armour another time. They kind of they were kind of stepping away from the NFL. But DK for the second half of the season, I want to say, was in Adidas stuff, but I don't think it's in writing yet. But it's like, let me see if I go to DK's Instagram, am I going to see him working out in Adidas or not? What is his Instagram? Let's see. DK14. That's a good handle to have. But let's see. I'm always so curious, like, how they can get this yeah. kind of stuff. So DK in this uh, All-Star so, Celebrity game is in Adidas basketball shoes, which is interesting. Yeah. But what if else you go would to that like, picture right there, he's in so, Adidas. Those are old Adidas. Those are really old. Oh, I can't you remember know what the name. those are? It's killing me. What are they called? Those were the, those came out in 2014. Um, they were their running back love yeah. at the time. 
And they were half padded on this side in this wavy pattern. Um, where did he find those? Those are weird. I, I, I somehow missed that. Uh, you know, I cover so much, but I missed it. He found those. He found those in the back of the yeah. locker room somewhere. If you go back to his um, page in the post that's below that one, there's a pic of him in Adidas gloves and then the cleats, the Swarovski cleats as well. So, yeah, those are the. the now, this post? Back, uh, up and to the left, right under the le- the cool, yeah, that. So he's in these cleats, yeah. and you can't just get these. Like he, I don't. He's working with Adidas, you know. He, he's there. There's something going on there, for sure. But yeah, most of the year he was in Adidas, so I'd say it's likely that he's part of their roster or joining it shortly. Um, but who knows? Um, who else we got? Um, Kadarius Tony. We talked about him. Charlie did some stuff with him. He wears yep. the Ultra Boost cleats a lot, which is really cool. You don't see a lot of guys wearing those. Um, is Von Miller? I know Von Miller's kind of getting up there in age. He's had some injury issues, but for a while there, you know, during his prime, he was one of the one of the big faces of Adidas. Um, their whole freak line is yeah. kind of catered towards him and his game. Um, Austin Eckler wears their stuff a lot. I'm, I'm not. I, I assume he's with the brand. I know he has a big thing going with Shock Doctor, which is really cool. Um, we talked about Adam Thielen a little bit. Aaron Rodgers wears their stuff. He's in the freaks, uh, the old old freaks, but he's in them. Um, Travis Etienne with Trevor Lawrence. You know what's funny? I, I feel like it's easier to know with Rogers that he's with Adidas from when he golfs rather he than when he golfs. Golf. Yeah, he's he's signed to uh, Adidas and Taylor. Oh, cool. Yeah, Adidas and Taylor. I, I mean, I know this is football, but I kind of look at golf stuff too. Um, Taylor made and Adidas are kind yeah. of aligned, and then Nike's more aligned with. Who are they lined with? Oh, it's going to... I don't like think it's Callaway. Callaway. What's, uh, there's another brand. No. I just can't think of it. I don't know. Now, I'm, let me think. Well, McElroy, McElroy okay, for, is a Nike athlete, but he also swings tailor-made, so I don't know. Do you say McElroy? Yeah, McElroy? I always mess it up. I never know what it is. Mac, McElroy? All right. Like I said, football. I focus more on football than golf, all right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. That's I don't that's a random topic. Um, yeah. Who else they got? Uh, they have Tua Tua Tagovailoa. I probably said that wrong too, but um, hey, you're close on that one. But he's he wears um, the freaks as well. And I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Yeah. There's some guys who just wear Adidas, but they're not, you know, with Adidas. I know Braxton Berrios was on their seed list because one time Adidas accidentally sent his stuff to me. The box said Braxton Berrios. Nice. It was my address. So I had to forward that to the Jets facility, which is just a fun story. Um, yeah, That's I think it was cool, him though. and somebody else. I think it was Tevin Coleman. So two Jets guys, somehow my address, I sure yeah. Adidas doesn't want me telling them this, everybody this, but it was funny. We forwarded the packages. It was all, it was all good. Um, okay. And yeah. Then they used to have D Hop, Jalen Ramsey, yeah. Dak Prescott, Kamara. Those are the biggest current names. Then we also have in here RG3. Yeah, they used to Peterson. have some really big names. D Hop was another one of those faces, kind of when Von Miller was. Um, Jalen Ramsey, he switched brands a ton. He started with Jordan, right? Then he went to Adidas. Now he's with Nike, I think. That's official now. I mean, he wore Nike all of last season, but he used to be one of Adidas' big primary guys. Um, then Dak Prescott, he was Adidas for his first four years, I want to say. And then he switched to Jumpman, yeah. which I think anybody would make that switch. And then Alvin Kamara, who, I mean, who knows what's going on with him, but I don't know if he's still with Adidas. He wears their stuff, like the exact same stuff. The Addy 6 6.0s and the old Free Gulcher Prime Knits from like 2017, religiously. But every once in a while, he'll switch into some Nike stuff. And then some of his Nike PE gloves were leaked at like TJ Maxx and stuff. So something's going on. I don't think he's signed with Adidas anymore, um, but he might still wear their stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> which you see a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So then, yeah, some of those, frick, man, those are yeah. big misses. The Prescott one, it's like, I, I don't know where, where did Jalen Ramsey go to? He was up yep, in Florida. FSU. He was at FSU. What are they? Yep, they're, they're Nike. Nike. 
Okay, so I'm just I'm trying to put pieces together here. I don't know where D Hop went. Dak Prescott went to Mississippi State. D- there, Adidas. So maybe D-Hop that would make Clemson. sense. Clemson. Um, so they're Nike. Okay, they're Nike. Kamara went to Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. They're Nike. They yeah. are Nike. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to put the pieces together. I wonder if Prescott just stayed with Adidas because that's yeah. all he knew. And that's what he was comfortable with. And then when he started getting in the league, he starts to meet other guys in the locker room. They're wearing yeah. Jordan, Nike, a whole bunch of other cool stuff. And then he goes, yeah, no, that's a time. fun topic. It's kind of talking, I mean, especially with draft season, you know, upon us, like watching these guys, you know, go to different brands and seeing if it kind of relates to what they wore in college. Um, if we go back to the, who the yeah. athletes are, Patrick Holmes in college, he went to Texas Tech. I think he wore Under Armour, right? So that's interesting. Yep. Juju went to USC, which is Nike. Trevor Lawrence, Clemson, which is Nike. Garrett Wilson, where did he go? He's a, he's Ohio State, right? I think Garrett Wilson. I think he's Ohio State. Garrett Wilson? I think uh, he's Ohio State, remember. which is Nike. DK, Ole Miss, Nike, which is funny. That's another story. DK was signed to Under Armour right away, but his first couple practices in the NFL, yep. he was still wearing his like Ole Miss Nike stuff, which was funny. So I feel like he was never really into Under Armour. I feel like they were probably just paying him a good amount of money. So... So that's fun. yeah, but I I don't know I I can see you. It depends on your relationship with how it went. Obviously, with the you know maybe Adidas treated yeah. them really well when he was in mm-hmm. in university. Um, like so we have now granted football schools in Canada. It's not the same yeah. as D one. It's <laughs> just not right. Some schools, yes. There's three or four schools that have the same thing. So we have like University of Calgary. They're a Nike school. Um, actually, they're a Jordan oh, cool. school now. You don't see a lot um, of those, even in yeah, so, the United States. There's only what four or five. Yeah, and like we, there's like some of the distributors here are kind of yeah. linked up, right? So, for example, there's a company that represents most of Nike and Riddell called. They used to be called Team Skyline. Team Skyline was local here. Then they got bought by a company called Team Litson, which is based out of Ontario. And basically, you and there was another company called Big Kahuna. Really? <laughs> So basically, you knew if you wanted Adidas stuff or shut, you went to Big Kahuna. If you wanted Nike or Riddell, you went hmm. to Skyline. That's basically the way it was yeah. across the country. Okay, Those were the relationships and, and the dis- distribution set up. Um, now, I do know a guy on a team in Canada um, where they are... So some, some schools have deals. Right. So like say one guy I know he was at an Adidas school where their jerseys were Adidas and they got yeah. like coupon codes, but and like one free pair of gloves and one pair of cleats. But anything after that you had to yeah. pay for yourself. And you could wear any other brand you wanted, but that's just what was provided. Um so again, just depending on the school size and stuff, it's just the way it is, you know, it depends on the level. It's not it's not like freaking even your guys' JUCOs where they're mm-hmm. even like swagged out and stuff. Like it's it's not the same. Um I do know one guy at an Under Armour school. Um, in where I've got my videos from of the issues yeah, with the Under Armour that's a whole other story. where <laughs> their trash mm-hmm. plates were breaking. Like, and he sent me videos of their trash cans full of, tra- Crazy. full of cleats and Under Armour said they weren't going to send them anymore for the year. And so then all their guys were buying yeah. cleats on eBay. Right. And like, he asked me for cleats and seen what I have. So they were literally just buying whatever cleats they could find yeah. on eBay. And then they even had a game where they there they were it was an icy game two years ago and the cleats were not made for it and they were having too many issues before the game and so they went to the local university which was a nike school and they said we need cleats and they dug out like turf cleats from the early 2000s that were in their locker room and they gave to the, these guys to wear wow. for the game that's this crazy. Was last year right they were and they were white, so then they're like, all right, you know, and yeah, so like, you know, it's like so say, you know, a friend of mine, I, he does not wear Under Armour, even though yeah. he's at an Under Armour school, and it's, you know, it depends on your relationship with the brand and what you want to do. CFL is also different as well because like CFL has, I don't know, CFL is weird. Like they they're kind of always looking yeah. for money. But the thing is, sometimes they're like, I feel like they're hurting themselves in their quest for money to keep the league going, right? So like they signed a deal with new. So, um, when I worked in the CFL, they had a deal with Adidas, right? 
They used to have a deal with Under Armour that they had a deal with Reebok and then they went to Adidas and Adidas was the league sponsor. And I don't think Adidas was getting their money's worth. And so we had to have meetings where it was like, hey, when we're on field for the games, make sure you're in your full sideline fit. Adidas shoes, hat, polo, yeah. everything. Right. And they're like, because Adidas is looking for a way out of their contract with the league right now. So if they see on TV that there's someone on the sideline that's not wearing their Adidas, they're like, we don't want to have any reason. So make sure you're in full Adidas. Well, then that contract was up the next year anyway. So it was, it was done. Um, but anyways, they're with New Era now is the league sponsor, which is probably cool. better for them. But the thing is, because of that, New Era came out with their own gloves. Really? And they don't look Football good. Gloves. They and everyone, almost everyone in the league is wearing them. It and it was apparently a, like a league thing where you had to wear new era. I gotta gloves, see what these look like. Which, yeah, you could just type in CFL like twenty twenty two. You'll find them. Um, the only guy that plays for the Stamps, his name was Reggie Begleton, and he was yeah. wearing super bads. Um, but I was I was even commenting on some CFL stuff because it was like everyone was wearing new era, even like some CFL posted like Instagram posts. Everyone was wearing new era, like posing guys, like photo shoot stuff. And then Bagleton was wearing super bads. And I was like, Oh, I don't know if I'm new era. I'd yeah. be pretty happy about that. Like it was, it's just weird. And I've, I've asked some CFL guys I know and they didn't like the gloves. And it's just like the CFL's always yeah. done shit like that, where it's just, I'm like, you're making it less cool. Like I know you're trying to get money, but you're yeah. making it less cool. Right. And, you know, I know the CFL guys would like for a lot of their stuff, pay out of their own pocket sometimes for some stuff, if they want different stuff. Um, like they used to have a deal with, I think Reeboks, they had yeah. to wear Reebok gloves and stuff. Um, but like, yeah, when they were, ugh, it's just frustrating. It's not like when they were worth Adidas as the league sponsor, they didn't have to wear Adidas stuff. Um, but like, yeah, it just looks dumb. Cause all the guys last year were in like Air Max cleats and cooler stuff. And then they're gloves. Yeah, I'm looking at them now. They, they look pretty generic. Just, you know, they look just like a, you know, cheap pair of football gloves. You know? Yeah. Nothing special. Yep. Um, but yeah, kind of is what it is. It's, I get it. Yeah. It's really hard to go with any money to, to get a football league that, you know, is able to sustain itself, you know? We've seen that with, you know, the XFL and what other leagues have there been? I know the XFL is back now, but they went under a couple of years ago, right? I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, well, the XFL came back and then halfway through their season, COVID, and then they went bankrupt because okay, they didn't gotcha. finish the year. Gotcha. Right? Then the USFL popped up, and then the, the USFL had a season last year, and it was yeah, not very USFL. good. Um, but then the USFL is back this year for their second season, and then the and XFL is also back right now for their second season. Um, and then I think the XFL is partnered with the CFL in some kind of feeder system type thing. I don't really know how it works. Um, there was talks last year about the CFL and the XFL merging into like That'd a North cool. American league. Um, which, yeah, like it could be cool. And like different, honestly, different CFL cities have different attendance levels. Like in Canada, the most like diehard fan base is Saskatchewan. And basically the easiest way to think about it is if there's nothing else to do, the football team is yeah. a big deal. Right. So it's like Saskatchewan, you think about them middle of nowhere, super low cost of living, not a lot to do out there. Yeah. At least from my perspective. <laughs> um, but they're the best funded team in the league. They have a brand new massive stadium called mosaic stadium packed, sold out every week. Right. And then you go to somewhere like Toronto and they have the, the Argonauts. No one cares about the Argonauts because they have the Blue Jays, Raptors, yeah. hmm. and, you know, uh, MLS as well. They have what, uh, no, who's the, not the Whitecaps, Whitecaps for Vancouver. But anyway, same thing in Vancouver. Dude, the BC Lions, no one gives a shit about the BC Lions because they have the Canucks, Whitecaps, right? If you want football, you can go across the board to Seattle. It's just the BC Lions, no yeah. one cares about. Um, so it, you know, and then Calgary's like a mid level. You know, we have a thirty something thousand person stand. It's like half full. Used to be a lot more full back in the days, but it's also because they haven't really done anything, in my opinion, to yeah stay up with the times. Um, so it's getting smaller. But yeah, I hope it continues. But it's also like they need. There's actually a cool guy that's that took over Edmonton's team. He's like a former 
esports guy. That's their new director, and he's like doing a bunch of really cool stuff this That's year cool. with their social team. Um, to be honest, he actually offered me a job really? because of this. <laughs> yeah, he was like so- looking for people. Um, and he saw that I did, I did this and I understood the social space for football. And I was like, yeah, there's not a lot of people in it, you know, can't do both. I mean, specifically equipment, but no. in general, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goal is to again, continue to grow this to where it is both of our jobs. That's the dream. And it will be, it's just going to yes. take a little bit of time, a little bit of time. Um, so I guess I got to run, but recap on today. Adidas is doing cool stuff. I'm much more of a fan of them than Nike, yeah. which is sad. But they're just doing way more fun stuff yeah, for, the, for, the for the consumer. They're, they're, yeah, so Nike Nike hasn't beat Nike hasn't beat on the player exclusive level. Don't get me wrong there, um, but there's also a reason that Adidas sends us ten pairs yeah. of different cool cleats for the consumer and then Nike sends us 10 different pairs yeah, of PE it's, it's gloves. Just, it's just different, you know, right. We're not getting both from both. It's a different it's level, different. you know, Adidas is for yeah. the people. Nike is for the players. Simple as that. That's a cool way to, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty on. I Sounds think that's good. a good way to end it. All right. Thanks for watching another episode, guys. Uh, again, we'll see you again next week. And I think next week we're going to look at Under Armour. Might be a little quicker, though. Yeah, not much. Time to talk about. See ya. All right.